Let's move on to King James and why this is in conversation okay, with LeBron. So LeBron James, obviously, they just beat the Knicks. And the fans are like, whoa, LeBron is a beast. But more important, okay, this is what I got to say. And I have another picture to pull up here in a second. But this is really what uh, is in conversation right now for King James, okay? Where is he going to go? He has a player option contract. Where is he going to play? Well, check this out. So King James, after the game, and, you know, LeBron is the man, so he does what he wants, but he's wearing a Knicks tab. Now, here's what I'll say. A lot of people are going to blow this up. You know, oh, my God, he wore a Knicks towel. He's going to go to the Knicks. I'm not saying the man can't just use a towel regardless if it's whatever team doesn't matter. But let me tell you something. LeBron James is not just wearing a Knicks towel for no reason at all. Okay? LeBron James has coming up a player option. For people watching this means he does not have to play next year for the Lakers. And all the conversation with his son, Bronny, where he's going to go, what's going to happen, all this is in conversation now, too. But where is LeBron James going to play basketball next season? Does he want to stay with the Lakers? Here's what I think. A lot of people, LeBron has done almost everything in the world in basketball, from MVPs to championships. He's played for, I don't got to pull it up, whether it's the Heat, the Cavs, the Lakers. He's played in all the places he really has to play except, Except, people, Madison Square Garden. Why is this significant? Because Madison Square Garden is one of the most spectacular places to be at any given time, any event, whether it's basketball, whether it's hockey, whether it's UFC, whatever it is, whether it's a concert. I mean, it, this is a magical place to play. Here is the thing. LeBron James right now has his player option season coming up where he can say, you know what? I want to go somewhere else. And they can work on that whole contract of where he wants to go, where he wants to play. Now, Los Angeles is a great place to retire when you have money like LeBron James. But when you don't, the taxes are crazy. So there's a lot of other opportunities to make money other places. New York is no different. New York tax is out of control too. But being that in LeBron's shoes, all the money he's got, it really doesn't matter at this point. So the only place he hasn't really balled out and played would be for the New York Knicks. If he retired as a Los Angeles Laker, you know, the world would go, man, LeBron had an awesome career. One of the best of all time. But if LeBron retires as a New York Knick and possibly gets a chance to play with Bronny, it would be pretty cool. I'm just saying to play Madison Square Garden. People are looking at it going, oh, no, don't worry about this. This is, a, this is just a Knicks foul. Then some people are saying, oh, no. He's making a statement to the Lakers saying, hey, look, uh, it's the player option time. You better use your trade window and your deadlines to get some players, bring some players in here so we can go for a national championship or for an NBA championship because the Lakers have a shot at this this year. But so do the Knicks. The Knicks are building up. The Knicks are building up. So LeBron's just kind of probably threw a little, you know, little drop in there, a little drop in the bucket for people to start talking about, a little buzz, if you will. And it was just kind of interesting to see LeBron. And hypothetically, possibly speaking, we could one day, if it could work out, see LeBron James playing for the New York Knicks in Madison Square Garden would erupt New York in a whole nother atmosphere. I'm just saying it would be pretty cool and pretty exciting. Hey guys, thanks for watching and tuning into the Brandon Mason Show. Please remember to like and subscribe. Until next time.